called out to fight for Yo, the what's WWE, up, y'all? Another championship belt Just sitting out here chilling. In welterweights. Listening to uh, some boxing talk. Smoke City Mobcast. This group, the LDBC, puts out some awesome boxing talk. They got all kinds of, you know, cats putting out content. Uh, 78 Sports TV, Fanon, Junior The Truth, Ticket TV, Black Fight Fan TV. I mean, bro, it's... But it's official, man. It's something that somebody, you know, if you a Bob boxing Aaron fan, says, listen to these cats, man. Anything. They be speaking the truth. I mean, they got all kinds of cats, you know, that's putting out content. But, uh, you know, my Wednesday tradition has become to sit out here in the garage, fire me up a cigar, and listen to these cats talk boxing. You know, I'm a boxing fan. And, uh, you know, they open your eyes to some stuff that you, you know, wouldn't have thought about or didn't realize was going on. So, um, you know, so I enjoy listening to the brothers talk as, you know, quality talk for real. But, yeah, you know, I'm just out here chilling, um, smoking on a brick house, Connecticut. Uh, great stick. It's the first time I've smoked one of these. Uh, it's burning nice and even. You know, it holds the ash. Uh, you know, I did the the punch today. I didn't cut it, and then I kind of you know that little squirrely piece on there. You know, that's me. That's my fault. You know, the construction is quality though. I, even though you see that little piece sticking up, I did that. But um. Man, it's quality cigar, man. I love the draw on this. I just believe Bob Aram, you know, he's at the end, you know, and he's probably going to retire. You know, the guy is, you know, by his account, he's in good health. Plenty of smoke. But, you know, he don't. You ain't got to hit it too hard. He's about to be 90, man. So, I think Bob trying to get. The flavor's good. You know, I'm not really one to give you, like, a cigar international type of critiquing review. But, uh. Definitely something that I'll smoke again. I'm surprised I haven't had one of these sooner. I've been seeing them in the store. Um, I was in the uh, it's a cigar shop here called Cigara. I was in the humidor and looking around, and you know I wanted to smoke something I hadn't smoked before. And um, I just asked somebody. I said, "Hey, bro, you know what's what's your go-to stick?" And uh, you know he pointed me the way of this cigar, and, and I'm glad I gave it a try. You know. I mean, damn, the word eventually sound like, oh, well, we're going to marinate. But this is this is kind of typical of what we, we get. But, yeah, we man, to a big time promoter like I'm Bob out here in Columbus, Ohio. Um, I know Bob Ram not going to do it. It's a nice but, night out. Okay. And we got to keep that in mind, man. Just chilling. You know, a long job. day at work. Their job is not to win friends and influence. I ain't got a whole yeah. lot to talk about. Their job is to make money. It's funny yeah. that I got a YouTube okay. channel yeah. where you can't do nothing but really talk yeah. to people. I'm not somebody with the gift of gab, you know. I'm not the the type that talked to everybody and you know got all the stories and all that stuff. I'm just a real brother that's out here just chilling, you know. Yeah, and I started this channel just to you know just to do something, make some random videos because I'm a random type person. Um, <laughs> you know, I ain't got no goals. I ain't got no, uh, you know, no specialty. You never know what you're going to see me talking about on here. You know. Yeah, I really don't believe the fight's going to happen. See, I don't, I didn't see it as Bud, I mean, I didn't see it as Arrow Stan. But, you know. Ready to get out this weekend and do some fishing, man. I got a Lake Erie charter booked. Walleye charter booked for, uh, Saturday. You know, can't wait to get out there and do some fishing. I go fishing. A million times a year. I mean, literally, you know what I'm saying? And um, this year, i just been so busy. I ain't even bought my fishing license yet. So, you know, I got to buy my license to do this trip on Saturday. So after that, you know, I'm going to spend a decent amount of uh, October out there on, you know, on my spots. Catching me some crappie. Catching me some saw guy. Some catfish. 
Do you know? Stocking up for the winter, so we got fish over the winter. I usually catch enough fish to fill my freezer up. Or, you know, not necessarily fill it up, but, you know, to have a few good meals in there. You know, have a fish fry or two if I, if I want to invite people over. I usually got enough for that. So, you know, that's what I'm looking to do, man. See, I guess like Al Heyman, this is why Heyman good for boxing, man. You have to excuse me, I'm out here chilling, man. I got random people pulling up at the corner, just and, sitting, you know, sitting at the stop sign, street dead uh, into, uh, you know, into my house. So, uh, you know, I don't live in a bad area, yeah, but you got to watch you know, people, Al man. Heyman you don't know what motherfuckers be up to. Job. You feel me? So, this is why Al Heyman is good for boxing. But we know why Heyman ain't good for boxing, according to these people, because, you know, Heyman's a black guy. We know that, okay? And we know that Bob Arum will get a pass for not booking this fight ASAP. Okay, but yeah, Bob man. Fight, but, you know, I just want to pop on real quick, and, you know, sometimes I, say a few I words say, to the know, people, hey, you know. Bob old ass. Like, <laughs> we need to put the pressure on this These cats is going in, going in on the mob cast, on man. Guys, I mean, every time these guys go to social media, every time Keeping it Google, real. Man, every time they in the bathroom taking their I don't shit, know if y'all can hear them in the they background be or what. About us wanting them to fight each other. They need to be thinking about us. Okay, brushing their teeth. They need it need to be a a a, a, a bottle of seventy eight sports TV toothpaste. Hey man. You still gotta fight blood. <laughs> hey man. You still gotta fight arrow. Okay? I mean, you know, okay, more power to Bob. I don't know. Okay. More power, but one of the things, one of the things they've been talking about is Mayweather coming back and stealing everybody's shine, you know, the young up-and-coming fighters. And I've always been somebody, you know, to support Mayweather and buy his pay-per-views and all this and that. But, um, you know, he's going to come back and fight Pacquiao again. It's going to be the same result as the first time, you know. And he's choosing to come back a time that he usually doesn't fight. You know, he's going to come back in December and fight. He usually fights in May or September. Uh, Deontay Wilder was supposed to fight um, Tyson Fury in December. They ain't announced the date yet, but, um, you know, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't understand why Floyd would do that. And it's a short turnaround. I mean, what, it's, it's almost October, and, you know, they're going to jump out and, do a hundred dollar pay per view yeah, right before Christmas or something like that? They lost so much money. Guys, you know, and I gotta be real. If if I'm choosing between ordering Mayweather or ordering Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, I'm finna order Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. I'd be more interested in that than than watching Mayweather. You know, dance around and uh, play with Pacquiao. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm Even if he slowed down, I'm I'm still confident that Floyd gonna put a whooping on Pacquiao, or you know Pacquiao ain't gonna be able to hit him and all this and that. You know, and I like Floyd, so I'm not a Floyd hater. You know, again, I I've been supporting Floyd. First pay per view I ordered was uh, Floyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya. You know, that was the first time I had my own crib, and um, you know, wanted to order a fight, and I I've ordered every single fight. Since then, Floyd Mayweather, you know, and I order some others, you know, I like to support boxing where I can and I'm a boxing fan and, you know, here in Columbus, Ohio, not a lot of people show the fights, um, you know, unless it's Pacquiao or Mayweather, you, you're you really not going to see the fight anywhere around here. I don't know why, man, if I had a bar or something like that, um, that's what I would do, man. You know, I mean, get people to come out, and you, you're going to make your money back. You know, it, Columbus is weird, man. You, you can't spend $100 at one of these venues, B-dubs, you know, any, uh, some wing spot, some restaurant, the casino, to show the fight, get people in there and make your money back? I mean, I just don't get it, man. Every They, they show every damn UFC pay-per-view. Show me some uh, boxing pay-per-views, too. I mean, it's going to bring out people. No one else here is showing it. I can't believe nobody does that on a regular basis. If I have my own bar, club, uh, restaurant, you know, whatever, um, that's what I'd be doing. Draw people in, get some business. You know, it's going to be successful because nobody's doing it. 
but um, yeah, man. I mean, again, if I got to go back to it, I'm ordering Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. You know, unless you know I get my crew together and we want to split the cost of ordering both of them or something. You know, I'm not ordering two pay per views in the same month. That's just what it is. About this whole Bob Arum thing because it's a lot of because it's a lot of the brothers that's getting the reason why brothers is getting upset about the situation and the, and the reason why. But yeah, I'm man. Again, I'm just out here talking, rambling. I ain't really got nothing on my mind. Sean Porter is because Sean Porter has made So I just want to make a quick little no video. One, say what's up to the, the people. Number, the is, you know, hopefully. Uh, I get some subscribers and my channel will grow, but uh, it's just something to do for me, for real, you know, that's all, but shout out to all y'all who, you know, check out any of my videos, uh, right now it's only going to be a couple people and that's to be expected, but uh, you know, it is what it is, man, so happy hump day, I holla.